Rajat says, how will chat GPT like generative AI affect our lives and most importantly, our jobs? How is the future going to be like? Generative AI is completely transforming the world right now. In the past, people had to hire research assistants. Professors would make their students slave for them, do all the all the donkey work, all the, all the boring work. And then they would take all that together and... and write their books or their research papers or whatever now you don't need that you have a virtual assistant that you can well all you have to do is pay 20 dollars a month i mean uh, chat gpt 3.5 is completely free and chat gpt 4 is i think 20 dollars a month you also have google bard you also have bing ai well bing and chat gpt are essentially the same thing but they behave in different ways they, they are different flavors of the same thing you also have things like uh stable diffusion and and dal e and uh, there's this thing on discord which is all about generating images based on various prompts so you can create any kind of artwork in anybody's style nowadays uh, there was a, an issue with the fingers it would make fingers look weird in the past I think that is being addressed right now so soon you will have extremely realistic images that the AI can spit out at a moment's notice uh, I'm sure obviously that also will cost some money but it's not a whole lot of money it's not a whole of money a lot of money it's not unaffordable for most people not for students obviously students cannot uh, spend that kind of money but once you once you have a job and all you can set aside a bit of money if you if you are so inclined so uh, so it's going to put artists out of business but you can tell sometimes you know these days you can still tell what kind of art is AI generated but as newer and better more powerful iterations of these AIs come out um, the art is going to be indistinguishable for, from reality from let's say a photographic image or the art created by an artist so eventually you're going to be able to create any kind of image that you want any any image that you want these days on Twitter you you had all these uh, fake AI images coming out of Donald Trump being arrested and, and the Pope wearing some weird weird uh, white jacket or something like that and lots of images of Elon Musk keep coming out so you can generate just about anything it looks incredibly realistic and in the next year or two it's gonna look indistinguishable from reality so it's gonna put photographers out of business it's gonna put artists out of business it's gonna, it's gonna put uh, graphic artists and painters out of business for sure I don't know how those professions will will keep up with the advances in AI uh, it's gonna it's gonna essentially totally make the education system irrelevant you can now get complete education just from AI and you can make the AI, you know, the generative AI like Bing or ChatGPT act as a tutor. And the tutoring and the education you can receive from that is far superior to anything most professors can offer you. You can, you can gain, you know, a master's degree level of knowledge, even PhD level knowledge from this already. $20 a month. That's it. It's incredibly cheap. Why would you spend like, I don't know how much it costs one semester in the US. Indians spend a huge amount of money to go to the US. All, all that they are seeking is actually either go and, you know, migrate to the West or come back with a a degree from a US university. Well, all of these degrees are already becoming worthless. So it's it's transforming a lot of things. It's going to transform the creative sectors. Uh, when you when you take AI, combine then with that with robotics, it's going to put a lot of assembly line workers and all these workers out of business. So it's going to totally transform the world in the next six months to the next 10 years. It's going to be totally transformed, the entire world. And um, so it's, it's lots of professions will become redundant. Lots of people will lose jobs thus far i don't see anybody has lost their jobs thus far but we are in the infancy of the ai revolution you know and people have written books about ai and all that but uh, you know so some of these very celebrated books have totally failed to anticipate the rise, rise of the chatbots so uh, i'm not talking about anybody in specific i'm not i'm not trying to create any controversy here but that's the thing so it's going to totally transform the world from the job perspective and the career and profession perspective it's also going to transform the way geopolitics works uh, there are nations that are really investing in ai from a military and geopolitical perspective and those developments are not going to be visible to anybody that is all happening behind closed doors so it's going to totally transform the world in the next uh, five to ten years I, right now like I said nobody has lost their jobs thus far as we can see nobody has come out in on, on social media complaining I lost my job because of AI it's not happened thus far it's gonna happen so programmers like I, I missed that uh, programmers will no longer be needed I mean AI already spits out any kind of code you want it can spit out Python code it can spit out COBOL code for God's sake COBOL it's an almost uh, you know legacy language from the 1960s COBOL is still very important because it runs the ma mainframes that are behind lots of um, you know legacy uh, systems credit card systems and whatnot it's, a, it's still a very big deal if you are a COBOL programmer it, it's it, it's a very lucrative uh, skill to have uh, it's a very niche skill now AI can spit out any kind of COBOL code that you want uh, 
identification division and whatever else division all that stuff you know i mean I, it was shocking to see that code again after so many so many years but yeah so ai will put programmers out of business web developers out of business it can create websites you know it can create apps apps on on uh, ios or android so all you will need now you don't even need to know programming you just need to have have ai handhold you and you're going to be able to create apps you're going to be able to create websites you're going to be able to do so many things. so it's going to transform the world and it's still a little early to predict how it's going to go but i think it's going to shake up the whole world and people will have to adapt certain things may not be replaceable but i am sure in 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 2 years time you could create this what i'm doing here as an ai i mean ai could output a fake version of me speaking just like me and saying the same things i would so typically say and you would not be able to tell the difference that also may happen um music ai is already generating good music a reasonably good music music that you can use in as as a ba- as background music for various videos and things like that uh soon it will be able to generate excellent high quality top quality music that's coming video is going to come so it's going to totally revolutionize the world i'm not sure what the consequences of that is going to be are, are going to be soon it will happen that you know ai you will have your own personalized ai it will give you exactly the kind of music that you enjoy the various genres and various moods that you have that you like that sort of thing it will write novels for you the kind of tastes that you have based on that and so so much more you may even see news coming in various flavors individually tailored to indiv- to various people and you will not really know what is true and what's not what's right and what's wrong what's for fake news what's true news so there's a whole amount of of possibilities out there um and it all depends on how ai is used like any technology ai is just a technology so any technology can be used for good or for bad fire when it was discovered was used for cooking which made everyone's life easier it was also used for warfare fire then steel can be used for good it can be used for bad sticks can be good for be used for good as well as bad nuclear energy has good uses and bad uses similarly ai is just another tool in that manner it can be used it depends on who's using it uh, so typically it's it's the milit- when any new technology emerges a transformative technology emerges it's typically governments and the military that make the first use of that so that's also what's happening with ai it's happening behind closed doors we don't know what is what developments are happening but yeah it's going to affect all of us so ai is something that we're going to have to revisit and revisit in great detail